Okay, so this is carbon dioxide carriage. I'm actually going to, I think I'll try and do this without the aid of a picture of a red blood cell and do all the reactions inside the red blood cell. I think possibly that's the way it's done in your booklet. Uh, Khan Academy do a fantastic, I don't want to advertise somebody else's site, but hey, it is a fantastic video. And he draws everything inside a red blood cell, so I thought I'd, I'd make a change. So, carbon dioxide carriage. What we're talking about here is there are three ways in which carbon dioxide is carried. And the, the biggest way in which carbon dioxide is carried is as uh, bicarbonate ions. In plasma. So this is why at GCSE you were taught that oxygen is carried in red blood cells and carbon dioxide is carried in plasma. But it's not quite as simple as that because you've got to get the bicarbonate in made and into the plasma. So where it is made is in a red blood cell. So red blood cells have a role in carriage of carbon dioxide. So. To get carbon dioxide into the form of bicarbonate, we're going to look, have to learn a little sequence of reactions. So, the carbon dioxide, first of all, diffuses into the red blood cell. Now, obviously, this is at the tissues, so these are where um, Respiration's happening, and respiration, of course, produces carbon dioxide. So, it diffuses into the red blood cells, and there it reacts with water. So, this is our first sort of little equation that we need to learn. Uh, I've got a purple pen. So. Carbon dioxide plus water. And I'm going to make this arrow reversible because obviously if when you're dumping your carbon dioxide back at the alveoli, it's all going to need to go backwards. Um, and this is going to make H2CO3, which has the name carbonic acid. And the enzyme that catalyzes that and makes it go faster, and it does it in both directions, is carbonic anhydrase. So what makes an acid an acid is the fact that it gives off hydrogen ions. So again, a little reversible arrow. And if we remove a hydrogen ion positively charged from H2CO3, what we get left with is HCO3 with a minus charge. And it's this stuff that is this bicarbonate. So this is going to diffuse plasma and it's going to associate itself with a positive ion in plasma. So why do we get sodium ions in plasma? These sodium ions are from sodium chloride or salt and so we're going to get chloride ions sort of left out in the cold and because we're losing negative ions these are going to move in to 
into the red blood cell. I'm just going to abbreviate red blood cell to RBC. I can't bother to write it out all the time. Just a little bit lazy there. Don't do that in an exam though, whatever you do, unless you tell the examiner. So remember the rule. If you're going to abbreviate red blood cell to RBC, red blood cell, first time you write it, RBC, knock yourself out. You can then use RBC. So move into RBC to uh, maintain electrical neutrality. So because we've lost a negative ion from the cell into the plasma, we then need to return a negative ion in just to keep the charges balanced. And that phenomenon is called the chloride shift. So, the next thing we need to know is what happens to that hydrogen ion. Uh, we can't be really having hydrogen protons building up in the, uh, in the cytoplasm of the red blood cell because, you know, they're acidic and the red blood cell is full of protein, quaternary structure protein, haemoglobin. Um, and therefore that's going to cause an issue, but luckily all proteins act as buffers. So, second little equation we need to know, our hydrogen ions are going to attach to oxyhemoglobin. That's oxyhemoglobin, HbO8. I'll write that down, oxyhemoglobin. And what they're going to do is they're going to, again, reversible reaction. They're going to kind of displace that oxygen. So we'll get um, what we call HHB, which is hemoglobinic acid, plus our oxygen. And the oxygen, of course, is then going to diffuse along that uh, concentration gradient. They're going to diffused to the respiring cells. So remember we did the Bohr shift in a previous video, in our curves to the right video, and so we can see now that if in respiration we've got more of this, then we're going to get more hydrogen ions and we're going to get more release. So that's the ball shift. And it is also uh, a reason that you can quote for why the oxygen dissociates. So this is the reason for oxygen dissociation. So that's Method one, that looks horrifically complicated. It's not that complicated. You just need to learn it. Um, you do need to know the name of the enzyme. You do need to know that the bicarbonate ends up in the plasma. And you need to know that relationship between carbon dioxide production and oxygen delivery. And also that the more you've got, the more oxygen you can deliver. And that relates to the Bohr shift. So that's all reasonably straightforward. So, um, I said that there were more than one, so here we go. The second most common um, way of carrying carbon dioxide is as carb amino hemoglobin. So this is in our red blood cells. So if I was to have to put numbers on this, around about 85%, around about 10%. And this is because uh, carbon dioxide can directly attach, so this 
carb refers to CO2. This refers to the end of the protein it attaches to. So remember from core uh, biological molecules or amino acids and therefore proteins have an amino end and a carboxylic acid end. It means that the carbon dioxide attaches to the haemoglobin. So this is CO2 attached to haemoglobin. And it just so happens to be at the amino end. And again, if carbon dioxide attaches to haemoglobin, it's going to kick off a bit of oxygen there. So it's sort of in direct competition with uh, oxygen for the haemoglobin. Just to keep on line with uh, good old Khan Academy. And our third method um, is dissolved in plasma. So as it's diffusing across, it is going to dissolve in, some of it's going to dissolve in the watery bit of plasma. This is going to be quite small. So this is going to be where carbon dioxide dissolves in water and makes carbonic acid. So you will need to remember these two, but this one, remember, this one in the lovely colours up here is the most important. Enjoy learning that.